Hi everybody, it's Mr. Bob again and time for a new video. Today we have a new picture book for you called The Tortoise and the Jackrabbit. Now I hope you enjoy it. It's been fun doing these videos. I think you'll like this one. Um, it's based on a much older story, even older than Mr. Bob if you can think that's possible. Well anyway, here is The Tortoise and the Jackrabbit. The Tortoise and the Jackrabbit by Susan Lowell, illustrated by Jim Harris. One fine day, the desert was full of springtime magic. Seeds sprouted, eggs hatched, cactus buds bloomed. Ah, said Tortoise, coming out of her burrow. I feel good. I feel fast. Jack Rabbit turned one of his huge ears in her direction. Silly Tortoise, he laughed. You drag that heavy shell wherever you go. As for me, I'm free, free, free. Zig, Jackrabbit leaped left. Zag, Jackrabbit sprang right. I'm the fastest runner in the desert, he bragged. Tortoise looked patiently up at him with her old, old eyes. Let's race, she said. Now the other desert animals gathered around. I'm sure to win, said Jackrabbit. Prove it, said Tortoise. So they agreed to race. I'll mark the course, squawked Roadrunner, and off he ran. Over the rocky hill, across the dusty flat place, under the mesquite trees, to the waterhole. I'll draw the starting line, hissed Rattlesnake, and she slithered across the sand. Tortoise and Jackrabbit took their places side by side. I'll watch from above, called Buzzard, high in the sky, while Eagle floated silent as a cloud. Eyeing Jackrabbit hungrily, Coyote volunteered to start the race. One, two, three, ow! Jackrabbit bolted away. Long, low, leap, ho, he sang, and over the rocky hill he soared in less than no time. Tortoise moved her scaly toes up the slope. Scritch, scratch, lump, thump, she went. Scorpion peeked out from beneath a big rock. Tortoise inched past a blooming prickly pear, and she trudged around a giant saguaro. High up its trunk, inside a dark hole, Elf Owl opened one sleepy eye. Tortoise rustled through desert dandelions, golden poppies, purple sand verbena, and creamy butterfly lilies. Although she loved flowers, she did not stop. Don't step on us, cried the ants, scattering. Oh, I won't, sighed Tortoise in her dry little voice as she lumped and bumped along. Meanwhile, Jack Rabbit came to the dusty flat place. Long, low, leap ho, he said, and skipped across. By now, he'd left Tortoise far behind. Under the mesquite trees, he saw a patch of tender, sweet, delicious grass, and he stopped to nibble it. By the time he had eaten his fill, he felt so drowsy that he lay down in the shade and fell fast asleep. Tortoise plodded down the hill, scritch, scratch, lump, thump. She was tired and hot, but Tarantula waved his eight furry arms to cheer her onward. At last, she too came to the dusty, flat place. Help! A terrible, fast monster with round, black, rubber feet. It tried to crush her flat. There was a roar, a smell of burning oil, and a cloud of dust. When the dust settled, Tortoise crept out of her shell. Whew, she said, and she continued slowly and steadily on her way. She passed Jackrabbit, still snoozing under the mesquite trees. Suddenly, he woke up. He saw all the other animals gathered around the water hole. The quails had even brought their children like little brown eggs and legs, and Tortoise had almost reached the finish line. Jackrabbit flew past light-footed deer, somersaulted over stinky skunk, left Gila monster in the dust, and never even noticed shy kangaroo rat. He hightailed it faster than ever, past hairy pig-like javelina, whoops, and then he crashed right into Sly Coyote and skedaddled. But long, low, leap ho, oh no! Tortoise scritch scratched across the line first. The desert animals cheered. Thank you, my friends, said Tortoise. Havelina handled the winner a beautiful spring bouquet. And slowly, happily, Tortoise ate it. 
Well, that was a fun story. Wasn't that a fun story? I like that story. There's also an important lesson in the story. Who won the race? The tortoise won the race. Was the tortoise the fastest? No. Was the tortoise the youngest? No. The book says that she was old. Maybe older than Mr. Bob with all of his gray hair. Nope. The tortoise just kept going. The tortoise won the race, even though she wasn't the fastest. And I think it's an important thing for you to remember. You don't have to be the biggest, the strongest, the smartest, the quickest, the most talented at anything. All you have to do is just work as hard as you can. Be the best that you can be. I think that's an important thing right now because schoolwork is kind of getting hard, isn't it? We don't have our friends around us to help us when we get into tight spots. We don't have our teachers to help us when we don't know the answer. Sometimes we don't even have our parents or our brothers and sisters around or anybody else to help us. We just got to do the best we can. So remember that. Just do the best that you can right now. Well, this is Mr. Bob. I miss you greatly. Hopefully we'll be able to see each other soon. But until then, keep watching the videos and we'll talk again next time. Bye-bye.